What's going on everybody? We're back again with another video. We're gonna be going over the top off today, okay? So we got some things uh, that we're gonna test. Stick around and enjoy. And today we got the top off. Um, we're gonna go over this in a minute, but first we're gonna look at some of the specs on here. It's got a, a USB-A port, which is your typical USB port, USB-C port, and a 120 AC right there in the middle. So you'll see your 120 right here. You'll see your A port. And then you'll see your C port, okay? I wish they would've put this button right here, both of them right here, and have like a more uh, solid flap that comes down, maybe with the spring loaded to seal that better. Cause that kind of flops up. I don't really like that part, but. So it says it's gonna simultaneously power a uh, laptop, fan, cell phone. Uh, that's basically what you would want it to do, right? Uh, it says that your USB-C port charges faster than the wall outlet. It fits all M18 batteries. So right now we have this extended capacity battery on here. This is a mid-level eight amp hour battery. And I have another three amp hour battery. So either one's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna give you the same wattage voltage, but you know, the duration's less with the three amp hour battery than would be the eight, and this would be less than the 12. It's a 175 watt power supply. Uh, what else does it have on here? So the tool is a five year tool warranty. Um, some of the specs on here we already went over, but continuous watts, 175, powered by any 18, uh, M18 battery, not included in this. Uh, one USB A port, one USB C port, not to be used with big drills, impact drills, sawzalls, heating vests, or little mini fridges, coffee pots, or microwaves. Okay, also what's noted in here is if you're running a 12 amp hour battery, you're gonna get 12 time, 12 uh, recharges on a uh, cell phone, 4.8 on a tablet, 2.7 on a uh, laptop. You're gonna get 280 running minutes on a, a TV monitor. You're gonna get 151 minutes of continuous runtime on a fan. And then this is just gonna bump down if you have like an eight, five amp hour battery it's gonna give you basically half, right? 5.5 and so on down the list. You can look at that for a second if you want. You can pause it if you want, but that lowest compact battery, is gonna give you 2.4 times. It's gonna charge your, your cell phone about two and a half times before you, you know, it goes out. And it does say that the USB-C port charges up to 75% faster than if you were to use your standard wall plug. Let's go ahead and start off with this coffee pot. Let's do something that would probably, you wouldn't think it would charge. Anyway, I got this kettle here. Um, it's got water in it. Don't ever start it with water, without water. So I'll go ahead and turn my 110 on. So you see that it lit up. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on the top off and see if it will charge. Hmm. Well, it's not gonna work. You see it's lighting up? Not enough power for this thing, okay? So it's not gonna work. So, coffee pot is out. That's what they said it was gonna do. So, next thing's up. Let's see if they can charge this little inflator. If you're out camping, Let's see if we can use this inflator out in the woods. No. Again, it's just too much for this thing, okay? And they didn't recommend using that, so you can't use that. So we have a TV monitor. Can we get the TV to work? That's the idea. We got it turned on. Let's see. Okay, something's happened. Oh, we've got the TV monitor on. So the TV monitor will work. That will work. Let's see 
Let's see if it'll run this little fan. Here's the fan, here's the back of it. Luggy there. That blows pretty good. It's still on full charge too. I haven't done much with it, but it's on full charge and we have it on the highest setting and it's blowing pretty good right there. Now, while we're here, I'm using my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. I'm gonna turn that one on. You see how you engage it? Okay. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna use the A port. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the cell phone I'm on. I don't know if you'll hear it click on that it's charging, but let's see if we're charging. Yeah, we're charging. I'll prove that again here in a minute, but we are charging. So now let's just get what people want. Most people would want to charge their laptop wherever they're at, even if they're out on their job site or whatever. They want to charge their laptop to keep things going. So, or if they had a little mini office where they were at on their job site, they'd have their fan and their, you know, have they have their fan, phone, and laptop. I mean, that's all you need, right? So let's go ahead and disconnect this. I'm gonna disconnect this off my phone. Um, and we're gonna go on to we're gonna turn this off, which felt nice, but we're gonna turn it off. It's 523. It's 523 and we're at 76%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back back out and we're gonna go ahead and plug in. And is it charging? Yes, we are charging right here. If you can hear that the, the fan, the motor came on, it's on, but it's so quiet, right? You can barely hear it. So I did slip away from this a little while, but it's 549, it's at 93%. So, I mean, that's pretty good, you know? Okay, I know what everyone's thinking. Everyone's thinking, let's power the fan, computer, cell phone, and maybe another computer with the C drive. Maybe another computer with the C drive. So let's try that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and plug in to the top off. Now we're gonna plug in the first computer. We're charging with the first computer. You see it right there. We're gonna plug in the fan. Then we're gonna plug in the C drive from this computer. We can see if we can get that one to charge. So if you have your buddy out there studying with you, let's plug in to the C drive, which is right here. We're gonna plug in the C drive terminal. All right. We got the one with the C drive on. It's charging. So the C drive's charging. My computer's charging. We're gonna go ahead and try to charge my wife's cell phone in the other drive. So that one came on. Now, will, will the fan turn on? Will the fan turn on? We got all this hooked up. And we got the fan. So we got the back computer hooked up with the C drive right here. We got this computer hooked up right here. We have the fan hooked up. And we also have my wife's phone's charging right here on the first drive. So everything's going. And we still got pretty good charge, half charge. It's going, but it's been chugging away all day. As you can see the times on my thing, I came back and went to the store to get this. Let's do one more. Let's try to charge an Apple Watch while we're at it. Why not? Put this on here. Is it charging? Oh, it's charging. Now we're charging the Apple Watch. We're charging the cell phone. We got the fan running, two computers, 
We've pretty much taken care of everything here. Charging a lot of stuff here. This would be pretty good for camping or whatever. If you're just going out to a cabin or something, you know, it's going to power a lot of things at the same time. You know, take a few batteries and you're good to go. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.